Autographs through the mail, episode number 30. Got an intelligent response to show in this one, so let's get straight into it. First of all, we've got Swen Nader. He was part of the great UCLA teams under John Wooden in the 1970s. Got a 76-77 tops right there. One of one. Next, we got a beautiful looking card here. This is a 1993 Elite. Ryan Sandberg. Rhino charging $10 per. Nice to get that one back. Next off, we've got two of two here from Gary Nolan. Gary, part of the great big red machine back in the 1970s. A great team with Pete Rose and all the great players on that team. Next, we got 1979 TCMA. Minor League's Greg Thayer, 2 of 2. Next, we got Matt Young. Played in the 80s and 90s. 85 tops here and an 87 tops. 87 tops traded. And then he is also on the 87 tops Mariners team leaders card there. Next, we got Tom Bradley sporting the awesome tinted glasses there. We got a 72 tops, a 76, and this is a Phoenix Giants from 1975 minor league card there. Three of three. Steve Niehaus, 77 tops football. He played for the University of Notre Dame. Next, we've got Ed Broussard. These are 1978 TCMA cards featuring players from the 1960s. Next off, we got another Dave Johnson here. He's charging $5 through the mail. I had a few of these cards signed by Paul Blair, who is deceased. And we got another one of these back. This is the second one I have of these since Davey Johnson started signing through the mail. Tony Adams, 1977 Tops football once again. Next we got Jim Dorsey. This is 81 Tops Angels Future Stars. I'm not sure if these two guys sign off. They'll look into that and we'll write to them if they do. We got a 72 Tops Mark Nordquist. Another Reds player here, Jerry Arigio, Arigo. He charges, I believe it's $1 per. Pretty cheap autograph there. Maybe it's two. I think I might have sent him these two cards and five bucks, and he also responded to my letter. And finally, the intelligent response I got. So I'll show the cards first. We got Larry Colton here. So he signed a 68 tops that was already signed by Dick Thonin. And this one is a 69. I'm not sure if Don Money is signing right now. It doesn't look like he is. But I'll double check on that. So Larry Colton, I guess I did. I knew he was a writer, but I didn't know that he, he was such a pro prolific writer. He's been published hundreds of times, has several books, and he responded. He gave him a, a nice response to my letter. So one of the questions I asked him was, were there any batters he faced that he did particularly well against? And um, he actually only played in one major league game, which he mentions here. And in that game, he struck out Veda Pinson and retired Johnny Bench and Tony Perez. You know, so that was a great Reds team there, the big red machine that he would have faced. And uh, Pete Rose, he said, got a double off him. And so Pete Rose doubled off me, but he should be in the Hall of Fame. So this is a response I'm talking about. He says, isn't it ironic that the World Series in 2021 was sponsored by DraftKings? 
So that's a gambling institution. And Rose, he said, Pete Rose might be a narcissist douchebag, but <laughs> so it's it's definitely ironic that you know you have the game of baseball, which is supposed to be supposedly highly against gambling. You know, keeping Pete Rose out of the Hall of Fame for gambling on the game, yet they're being sponsored by DraftKings, you know, which is just a gambling, you know, a, a gambling app and all that kind of stuff. So it's, I thought it was really funny that he said that Rose might be a narcissist, a narcissist douchebag, but, you know, he feels like, he doesn't say that he feels like he should be in the Hall of Fame, but, you know, you can read between the lines and he thinks he should be in the Hall of Fame. So this is, you know, this is a pretty interesting response that I felt and I felt that it was worth showing. I'm going to put a link to Larry Colton's um, Wikipedia page down below. It talks about, you know, him, his the number of articles he's written and also the books he's written. It sounds, sounds like a really interesting books, really would be interesting reads. Maybe some of you guys have read them or might be interested in the books he's written. So that's it. Um, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out the links below. Much appreciated and stay tuned.